Hello, uh, you see my mirror. Hello, lovely people. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello. So, in today's video, first of all, you notice anything different? Nothing? Okay. That's better. <laughs> I was bored this weekend, so I was moving things around the studio, I was organizing it, and I changed my setup just a little bit. I like this curtain, it's from Ikea. It might be a little bit too dark. I might change it to something lighter in the next videos, but I'm not promising anything, okay? Because I kind of like it. <laughs> so, in today's video, first of all, I'm gonna start off by priming my face. This is the Beauty Blender Base Serum. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a very soft, romantic, sultry and seductive <laughs> makeup look the valentine's day is almost here it's approaching you can see it coming <laughs> and almost every year i do something for the valentine's day i mean like a tutorial here on my channel in my real life it's just another day <laughs> i find that all of my valentine's day makeup looks that i've posted so far are very pink <laughs> i wanted to do something different this year something more you know i'm gonna mix two foundations today Surprise! <laughs> I'm gonna use my my Fenty Beauty one. I'm gonna take two pumps from each, but I'm also going to add some of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter High Coverage Foundation in Short Bread. That will give me a little bit more full coverage today. I like adding these Huda Beauty foundations to some of my other foundations just to add some coverage. So I'm first applying it with a brush, and then I'm gonna smooth it with my sponge. I love how good my foundation looks when I'm applying it first with brush and then smoothing everything out with my sponge. But I hate that after that I need to wash the sponge and the brush. I will never apply foundation with a dirty foundation brush. Like this brush, I need to wash it in order to use it again. Same goes for the sponge. I like if I'm applying my foundation, I want the tools that I'm using to be clean <laughs> and that that's very important though all right so for my brows today i'm gonna use these two brow pencils by sigma the one is in the shade light the other in the shade medium i'm gonna use the shade medium on the bottom of my brow switching to the light shade i'm gonna use that in the front part of my brow very very lightly filling it in and then also on the top part of my brow Obviously, you don't need to use two different brow pencils for this. <laughs> I just really like this brow pencil, but the shade medium is a little bit too dark for me and the shade light is a little bit too light for me. So I have to mix them up. I really like how soft and how easy this pencil is to use. A little bit of brow gel to set the hairs in place. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up because they look intense right now. My brows took me today like 20 minutes. See, I need to stretch after doing my brows. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the eyes. This is the Put A Lid On by The Balm, an eyeshadow primer. And I'm keeping that only on my eyelid here. For my eyeshadows today, I'm gonna use the Morphe 9A palette looks like this oops looks like this <laughs> i will start off by finding a nice fluffy big blending brush this one here i think that this brush came in a eyeshadow palette by sigma and it still has <laughs> oh look at that i used this brush i washed it a couple of times and look it still had this thing on nylon Okay, so I'm gonna start off by taking the shade coat myself. If you see lines like this before you start applying your eyeshadows, you definitely wanna blend them out. So this is going straight in my crease. Okay, I'm pressing that color in my skin, building it up. I'm not trying to blend it just yet, because right now my eyeshadow primer still feels kinda sticky, which is good. 
and if I start using circular motions and trying to blend that eyeshadow, um, it will be a mess. So you want to press that color on your skin first so that the eyeshadow primer can grab it. And then once it doesn't feel sticky anymore, you can start blending it out. I'm going to mix these two colors here. These eyeshadows are a little bit more powdery, so always make sure that you tap off the excess. I'm using a flat brush and I'm placing this on my eyelid everywhere but I'm trying not to cover that first color that I just applied in my crease okay going back to that first brush not adding any additional eyeshadows I'm just using it to diffuse the edges so what I want to do today is I want to create a very nice fading effect from my lash line towards my brow. I want to start off with very dark colors right here next to my lashes and fade them towards my brow. Now I'll take a mixture of this brown color here and the black one. You want to first focus on applying them as closely to your lashes as possible and then once you barely have anything left on your brush, you want to start fading them upwards. I'm just taking some of that black eyeshadow, I'm not mixing it with the brown anymore and I'm adding it along my lashes. Guys, I'm a little bit terrified. I know that you came here to watch a um, makeup tutorial on a sultry eye look, but I have something that I want to share with the world. I don't think that I should do that in this video because <laughs> it's a little bit gross, but hey, whatever. So I'm freaking out you guys. I'm sorry if I if I seem a little bit down in today's video, but I'm just I'm freaking out. I found out that my wisdom teeth is coming out. <laughs> but here is the catch. But things get serious when there is a but. I can see it coming out, but not in a place that it's supposed to come out. And definitely in the wrong direction. Like teeth are supposed to grow down like this, right? My wisdom teeth is going like this <laughs> i'm sorry did i say wisdom teeth i mean wisdom tooth so far my first one i hate that guy <laughs> okay let me just explain what i did here with my makeup because i'm getting distracted again <laughs> so what i did is i switched to a different brush this brush comes in a set along with this brush and along with some other brushes all of these this is a color pop set so you can get them all together they're very very nice very soft and very tiny and precise. I love brushes like this. What I did is I took this Colourpop E19 and I grabbed some of this brown color here. And I just used that to blend out that black color. I'm using a very light hand and just going left and right, left and right, stretching your eyelid like this. Like see, this is my rested eyelid, right? When I stretch it like this, it makes it a little bit easier to blend stuff in this area here on your eyelid and once it looks like everything is kind of blended you can also go over everything with that first brush that we used for the crease color again i'm not adding any additional product to it i'm just using whatever it's left and going over everything to blend any harsh lines it's like my wisdom tooth had a gps that gave it the wrong directions it was like you sure we taking that turn and the gps was like i don't know probably Let's try and see what happens. Well, you know what happens. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit angry because yesterday I had a dentist appointment and you know what the dentist told me? There is no place for your wisdom tooth to come out. So we probably need to, to, to extract it. What? I don't want to do that. Is that an option? No, I don't want to do that. It's the first time that I'm going to have a tooth extracted out of my mouth so that's um what i'm being very worried about lately <laughs> i know that you didn't came here to hear that i know that you came here for this tutorial but i'm a human being i'm having my thoughts and worries and i just needed to share this with the world because i'm sure that some of you guys are watching this and you have a wisdom tooth that needs to be extracted too and you're worrying about it too and i want you to know that you're not the only one freaking out yeah anyways i know okay i'm gonna stop i promise um this is the last time that i'm getting off topic 
I'm just moving on with my concealer under my eyes and see with my concealer now, now that I'm applying my concealer, I'm kind of cutting the edge here, you know, with my sponge. It's really easy. Just make sure that you don't have um, a lot of product on your sponge when you're doing that. Or you can use some tape when you're applying your eyeshadows and peel it off and it will give you that nice sharp line. I'll take some powder on my sponge, on the bottom of my sponge, just a tiny little bit, okay? And I will press it all over my face um, just to set everything in place. Also the concealer that I just added under my eyes. Again, I'm not baking, I'm just using a very small amount of powder and I'm pressing it on my skin. I'm gonna add some contour on my face. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in light. I feel like I will hit pan on this really soon. <laughs> I've been using it so, so often. Okay, with so dark eye looks, I usually like um, using my Ofra Bellini blush. I just find it a little bit more suitable for so intense looks. My ponytail is giving up on me. <laughs> it was slowly sliding down like that. So, uh, let's finish up the eye makeup. I'm gonna keep on using the brushes from that Colourpop set so that it's easier for you guys if you have that brush set. So I'm gonna take the E20 brush. As you can tell, it's super, super tiny, really adorable. I'm gonna take a mixture of this and this color. Smudging that under my eye. Don't forget to connect it with the eyeshadows on the upper lid. And you can take a blending brush and just diffuse it a little bit more. I don't wanna make my lower lash line very, very intense and dark. But I want to add some of those eyeshadows so that the look looks more completed, you know? For my lashes today, I'm gonna wear a pair by House of Lashes in the style Iconic Light. When I'm not wearing any eyeliner, I like going with lashes that have more thin lash band, so it's easier to bend it and camouflage it. It just makes my life easier. So yeah, I really like this pair for when I'm not wearing any eyeliner. I'll also highlight my face with some highlighter. This one is the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in the shade Ozone. Now I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. Taking my sponge and pressing that spray into my skin. Let's also use some of that highlighter to highlight my brow bone. What an unusual brush, right? <laughs> it's so, so unique. I don't know what you're supposed to use this brush with, but... Oh, it's Detail Concealer Brush by Sigma. I really need to try using it with concealer. Maybe for some spot concealing, it will be good. Oh no, I broke my lip liner. Now, my trick of making my lipstick last longer is when I apply my lip liner, I also fill in my lips with it. Like I'm basically applying my lip liner as a lipstick once I'm done lining my lips. And that creates very nice base for my lipstick. This lip liner is by the bum, it's called Checking You Out. And now for lipstick, Sigma Venom. Let's add some brightness to the eyes and finish up with this eye look. I mean, with the whole look, we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna add some final touches. I'm gonna add some white pencil in my waterline. You can definitely go with a black one. I just really, really like white pencil in my waterline, especially with darker looks like this one. And a little bit mascara on my lower lashes. All right, and this is our final look. Definitely something more elegant, something more bold. If you're looking for a look which is more toned down, something more natural, you can check out my previous video. Red lipstick was a great idea. I was a little bit concerned because usually I like balancing my looks. When I'm wearing something more dark on the eyes, I like keeping my lips more nude. And if I'm wearing something very dark on my lips, I like keeping my eyes more toned down. But today, Look at us. I promised myself that I'm gonna wear red lipstick more often this year. I'm not sure how that will work. I mean, red lipstick is beautiful. It's so, so pretty. 
until you start eating. I'm scared that once I'm done with my food, my face will look like a crime scene. And that's not a look that I'm going for. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you can give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Click that red subscribe button and also the bell button, which is right next to it, because that way you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. And if you're interested in seeing more of me, more makeup tutorials, more photos of this face, you can check out my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can follow me on there. I'll have links to all of those down in the description box. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you so, so much and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!